Boys and girls, we're here with the mighty AJ fucking Perro of Hello. Twisted fucking Sister. Hello there. How you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm all right. I'm all right. So I hear you're also playing an adrenaline mob. Yes. Uh, What's going on with that? I, uh, I was asked to do the album in uh, September. I recorded it. Um, wasn't too sure, you know, if, if, if I was going to be able to swing it, but Twisted's doing a lot less shows. Right. And then once, the al once I finished the album... And I started rehearsing with him. I said, yeah. I said, I'm going to join the band. Yeah. Nice. So right now, I mean, I'm still going to do spotted shows with Twisted. We only right. do about maybe seven a year. Yeah. Uh, if I can't make a show with Twisted, I'll, I'll get a fill-in. But um, other than that, Adrenaline Mall is my first priority right now. Very cool. Very oh, cool. And, uh, I love the guys. They're all good friends of mine. Right. And it's a great band. Yeah. Great players. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yes. And you got to do Nobody's Fault But Mine. Yes, that's right. Awesome. <laughs> that's we were right. listening to that on the way down. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. And it was a good rendition. Good. Thank you. Appreciate so, it. So uh, how big an influence, dare I ask, was John Bonham on you? Um, very big. Um, I mean, when I started out, I started at a young age uh, as a jazz drummer because my father was a jazz saxophone. That's right, yes. And um, I wasn't allowed to play rock. <laughs> and then uh, when I started getting into Zeppelin and Sabbath, of course, Bill Ward, and then um, I started sneaking it. And my father said, listen, you got to do what you know, what you want to do. I still continued on with, you know, playing the jazz. I love the jazz stuff and the, the Chicago. I love it. But then, you know, the uh, the rock stuff, I just nail it. How can you miss that power groove, that Bonham? It's like? amazing. Yeah, John Bonham was one. He was the best, you know, as far as the, the groove and innovator. Um, and, you know, uh, me being brought up with Gene Krupa, obviously, Gene Krupa was the, the guy, you know, the reason why us drummers are taking drum solos today right. was of Gene Krupa, and I had the honor of meeting him. Oh, you did? And yeah, and I, I uh, he actually, I went to his house a few times. No way. He actually showed me some stuff. Uh, I was very young. You and Peter Chris took lessons from Gene Krupa. It wasn't really lessons. It was more of like a casual go to his house. Uh, I was seven. He had seen me on TV. I did a, a TV show called The Mike Douglas Show. You were down that? No way. Yeah, seven years old. I was I on a, and I was on the Jerry Lewis Telethon. No. At 11. Yes. <laughs> at 11. So I did The Mike Douglas Show, and my father's cousin, who was a, a drummer, um, uh, somehow or another, he was one of those guys that are always in, you know, like, hey, how you doing, man? Hey, what's up? And everybody hated him because he was a jerker. But he got in the places, and people said, ah, come on, he's all right. Man. He, he's a... So Gene Krupa actually got in touch with my father's cousin, Carmine, and he told me, and we went to his house in Yonkers. Been doing this now for how many oh, years? God. Uh, Dare the, we say. The twi in Twisted years or in AJ years? In uh, AJ years. AJ years. I'm actually, uh, this October, I'll be playing 50 years. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. 50 uh, years. Hey, AJ, do you know what AJ stands for? I don't know what it is. Anthony Jude Perro. Yes. All right. Yes. AJ. My, my, my mom actually named me after two saints. Saint Anthony, of the, who is the, the saint of the protectors of travel and St. Jude is the saint of the impossible that's right so she thought I was an impossible traveler so <laughs> kind of name me you, you, but you're always one of the one of the baddest motherfuckers on the drums or the sickest motherfuckers on the drums oh, thank you. yeah <laughs> thank yeah, you and like, and like what, what did you think you, you know, the, the prize video you got these baseball bat sized drums tell oh, me about that man they that was something that I was kind of like joking around with yeah. and the, the producer uh, the producer of the video said that's great let's keep it in there and I'm like Dude, I was only joking around, but he thought it was cool, you know. I go back with Twisted Sister all the way back to the club days at places like the Four and Ave. Oh, that was before my time. <laughs> yes, yeah. but going that back, was... you talked about his first show, the last time he was on a reality check, when you guys were in New York. I wasn't there, but I saw the interview. Cause yeah. I I was a producer, but of my my first show was actually was at Gemini Two. I remember that place in New York Town oh, Heights. Yeah. yeah. And then, like I was, you know, like I said, I got into you guys during you can't stop rock and roll. Then I got under the blade. Under the blade, you can't stop rock and roll. Old Testament, New Testament yeah. to me. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know, and, and, and uh, I had the Live of the Marquee EPs and all that shit. That was that uh, was good. That was. And then I started collecting bootleg tapes. I had like live WBAB broadcast, King Biscuit Flower oh, Hour. That's good shit. Yeah. Rock yeah. and roll savior. Yeah. 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 Well, so something else we got to talk about is is a band that uh, with a with a, another friend of ours, Mrs. Sal Italiano, Cities. Wow. Now we're going back, boys. Yeah. Um, I mean, somebody had asked me before. Very few people know about Cities Reunion. 
And I had said, um, we had discussed it. We really did. But um, a lot of our schedules are just so crazy, yeah. Crazy, you know. And now that I'm in Adrenaline Mob, now I got to double duty, you know, a Twisted and a Mob, possibly do if we're on the same bill. Um, I don't have time. And I, and I got to balance that with the family and my, my businesses, my other life, you know. So it is kind of hard, but I'll never say never. Speaking of Twisted, you guys are actually going to be playing with Kiss in Mexico City. Yes, we are. That's going to be yes, we are. Yes, we are. We're doing. And I, I don't think I've ever shared a bill with Kiss, has I? Oh, yeah, we did. Matter of fact, matter of fact, the same bill in Amsterdam when we took the makeup off because D's flight was delayed and he was helicoptered in, and Journey just went off the stage. And we were supposed to go on, and D went from the helicopter to the stage, and we wore no makeup. Uh -huh. And that was 2007. That's when we decided that we don't need the makeup anymore. You know, let's yeah. just go out and just slam everybody's head. Yeah. And that, that was it. But yeah, Kiss was, um, we went on. It was Journey, Twisted, then Kiss. Oh, OK. Yeah, I we were right across that. from each other. Oh, I see. And it was in Amsterdam. Here's an interesting piece of AJ trivia because, uh, you know, I, I also, you know in, listen, in, in addition to being the sickest motherfucker from the West Coast, which I am, right. I, I also, uh, you know, was an avid heavy metal fan, always collected stuff. You know, I used to wear, you know, you know, I've had this, I've had this wristband since I was like 15. Okay. But uh, I, I got this ad, this ad for this uh, special studded wristband you wrap around your arm, and you were in the ad holding it up. It was a picture of you in the ad holding this. I'm sure he remembers that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I got this thing in the mail. The picture. The bar, not Taylor the barbed wire. You're, you're this Was it the yeah, barbed yeah, wire? Yeah, the bob oh, wire. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the barbed wire. Another studded one that wrapped up. Yeah. The barbed wire. Yeah. 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 I came up with that idea. That's why I was. I wanted to get that, but I never got a chance to. We was selling it for. We was. Sell, we had the necklaces and we had the wristbands. I to get those. And I never got a chance. And I came up with the idea, and I never got credit for it. Ah man, you didn't even get any royalties or nothing. Oh, of course not. Of course not. I'm just a drummer. We don't get that shit. Because if I knew it would get you money, I would have bought it. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right. So we can, where can people go to find out more about what you're up to? Okay. Uh, I have a website, ajpiro.com. Uh, you can go on the AdrenalineMob.com website. You can hear some of the new stuff. Yes. The album will be out February 18th uh, in, the, in North America, and it'll be out internationally February 22nd. And we're going to jump on a few tours. We'll be doing a lot of shows. We're going to tour U.S., you know, Canada, world. We're gonna we'll, we'll look forward to that. And then I'll be doing, you know, the handful of shows with Twisted this summer. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it, man. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> All right. Thanks.